Good morning, welcome back to the channel. So, today we're on March the 1st and we are going to plant sunflower. So, I haven't done anything on the map since, I've been doing other stuff in playing new maps etc just working out ways how I can boost my supporters of my channel my subscribers etc so yeah I've been doing that I have got a tractor up here helping out Leroy on his farm, he's planting grass at the moment. This is field three down here. And we are currently working on our home farm here. I'm using the big rig today. I hope that I'll get it done quicker. Now I'm not going to need any fertilizer in this one because it's already on a perfect state. So we put that. I know that it's just seed. Now I've already done the big field just there, so that's planted. Now I've got 393,000 at the moment until I finish my contract. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to purchase either potato machinery or probably the, it's going to be a root crop regardless because I've got pigs now and they need root crops for their food I'm trying to play it without the hood. I can barely work out the difference between the colour field of the fields from where I've just planted, and I mean barely. So yeah, um, root crop wise I don't know which one, I'm heading towards potatoes but I need something for a wide pickup, I mean the harvesters like work, work where it feels free meat I think. And 
the normal the normal fetched ones like the carrots the red beet the parsnips I like a meat of the most so on these side it's not going to take forever don't get me wrong down the line I can get the big full on harvesters which would be really really nice have a look so yeah I'll get the potato harvesters if I want it to or I'll get this big machine here for the root crops but I've only got two little fields at the back So, don't know when, but down the line, once I've got my pig sorted out with the food, it's not going to take long, probably one season. I'm hoping to expand on the farm again. Like I did in Huron County, and I've built another farm. I might do the same on this one. I might just purchase from the others and just rebuild it. So, for instance, the farm down here, I might purchase. and then go from there and I was thinking maybe get into more bailing more grass contracts getting back into the alpha alpha I've only got a small field at the back there field and then I'll go back to Ooh. I don't know if that's me doing that or the game but it happens a lot yes yeah, so building a new farm getting the alpha alpha Planting in a load of fields from that. Um, 
Yeah, I'm just trying to do a bit of everything on this one. Still debating whether to turn seasons on or off. I might just keep it on. Then I just have to run through the years so that we can plant certain crops or have more fields so that we can do that. In the ideal world, I'd like to take the long fields at the back here, so 13, 16, 17, and 25 as well. And then start taking up all this section in the middle. Get some different field shapes going. Make it a bit more interesting and a bit harder to manage. And then have like root crops, etc. I'll probably put the root crops on the outside ones over there because they're more straight, a bit easier to work with. Two tiny fields there to work with. Now, that bit of land by the BGA I can't actually buy, which is quite surprising. train is coming in handy as well. I really like that idea because I can load over a hundred thousand of each product so potatoes could be transported out that way and the root crops I'm not going to need a whole load of root crops Basically, I'm just looking for enough to feed the pigs, probably like 100,000 litres at the most, and the rest to be sold. I, I don't know how much they would eat at the moment. I haven't had them long, so they go for like 5,000 a month. That'd be good. I'll cut that down and sell the rest. But nearly done. not taken long at all which was better than expected so we'll fold this one up Thirty two thousand litres of food. Ok, 
Can't get rid of that bell anymore. Just put it over here. to unattach that and that. Now what I will need to do that's it from there. Spray the herbicide once once I have the crop growing. So that's ready to go. I have a little bit of seed left there. Nothing else really happening in here right now. I have fertilizer there. And a couple there. Let's just see how this works. Not too bad. So yeah, while I'm here. This farm would be great. You've got sheep, cattle, um, this horse pasture, which I actually think is probably one of the best in. I'm in simulator at the moment. It's very nice. These silos I'll probably rip down. Can't actually open that because I don't own that. Clear up all this. Get rid of the house. So yeah, there's things I'll do on this one. There's a nice bit of land around it. I mean, field one is 40 acres. Field four is 19. Field nine is 14. Field three is nine. Two is 1.7 and 10. It's 41. So they're big fields. My biggest field's 27 acres. So let's have a look, see what we can buy right now in terms of technology. So 1.5 here is the biggest you're going to get. Unless you buy the big tool. Beats. You got a 3 meter. Potatoes. Yeah, one point five. And then you got a six meter plant planter for them. And a three meter. And to 
be fair, I think with the plants that I've got, I can do... be already with that. So all I need... I don't need that. Is it these two? So what I'll do... Is I'll change my plants. And look back. This back up. Bit far off. Seed. Done. Now I know I'm going to have to go through a lot of fertilizer. Trying to be awkward here. So, when can I plant beets? Oh, I can do it now. So, I'm going to do that as well. Now, luckily, the field's just there. Challenge is going to get be getting around this pole. I might start here. Go with that. I want full luck again. So if I do both of these fields it's sugar beet. That would be my first root crop. And then I'll do potatoes and the other ones either next or down the line. I'm definitely going to be doing them. I caught the post. Yeah, so sugar beet this time. Harvest that. Potatoes. We'll see how how I go for money because at the end of the day, I got three hundred ninety thousand. I'm probably going to spend just over a hundred thousand on 
the beat harvester and the one that cuts the tops. And then that should, that should bring us around 280, maybe 280,000. And then possibly after this harvest, then I'll have the rest of the fields. I should have a lot more, so I may be able to get a decent harvester because I would love to get into cotton as well. Contract three has finished. Field three, that is. So let me just collect that before I forget. Collect ten thousand five hundred. Let's see what he's doing, just running around the field. What other contracts have we got? Field 9, oats. Yeah, we're going to set that. to drive to field 9 hopefully don't get stuck in that ditch where is field 9 while well, I think about it ah oh, it's only there ok you can start with planting the oats on that field And I'll just miss the edge. I might have to change my way that I'm doing the ploughing, the cultivating, etc. Because I'm struggling right now to see the um, the ground that I've done. So I might change to an actual plow and do it that way. I don't actually think I need a cultivator because I think these direct drill. I don't even think I need a plow, but it makes it look more authentic that way I suppose. So that is another one done. And he has arrived. So that can't be better time if we tried. And I wasn't trying really, so I'm surprised that it got there that quick. Usually it has to go around the field like once or twice. So I'm definitely done with this planter now. Turn that off. That 
pass out. Get a bit of course play action going again. Off he goes. Now nine is fourteen acres. Now let him go. Let him do that contract. I'm going to buy my technology, so I need that one. And that's a uh, requires 185 horsepower so I get that one as well and have manual discharge on it so what's my small tractor 201 so I'm gonna probably do it with that bit overkill for what I need right now. So what do we need in the way of cotton halves? 485. To get the big round ones for 10,000. Is that the big round one or the square one? That's the square one. This one's the big round one. See these are good. But the working speed, even though it says 10, has always been like 6 for me. And we'll work on getting that. And one of these. So, I've got a subsoiler. Don't have a cultivator. Okay. Because that direct plows. Okay. So, that's four, that's six, that's eight, it's tempting to use that, plows, I might stick with my subsoiler. Or I could go spader. What's the working width of the one I've got? Four meters. Might get power harrow just for something different.
So now I've got 239,000. What have I got over here? I've got my herbicide, bale grab, bucket, the thing that cuts the crop, the thing for collecting the crop, and the power harrow. So this is a cultivator, so yeah. Right people. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. And goodbye for now. <laughs>